Hey guys, I'm Lonnie, also known as the Garage Geek Guy, and today we're going to talk about video cables for the TI-994A. And uh, I have a TI-994A here. It's got a video memory fault, so the characters come out garbled, but this is the only one I have on hand. It still outputs video, so we'll be able to test our cable out after we make it, but let's go ahead and get right to it. The video signal on the TI-994A comes out here on this five pin DEN connector. And um, typically uh, it will go to an RF modulator and then into like the coax of your TV. And the signal is kind of dirty. A lot of people don't even have that connector on their TV. And it's a lot easier to just connect to AV. So that's what we're gonna build today. We're gonna build a five pin DEN connector to standard like composite video AV connector. That's what we're gonna work on. And uh, let me set this off to the side and I'll show you what we got. Okay guys, so what we're looking to build here is I already have one made up. This is the first one I've ever made actually. Um, this is the five pin DIN connector end. This is the AV cable end. That's what we wanna make. So. Materials we're going to need for this job and tools are move these lights around a little bit. We're going to need a soldering iron. Um, I have a Heiko F FX888, but whatever you have will be fine for this. It's not, you know, really complex. Uh, then a few basic tools. I've got some wire strippers, some needle nose pliers, and some uh, diagonal side cutters there. Uh, you're going to need a little solder. What kind is this? This is 0.8, that's a little thick, but it'll work fine. Uh, I have 6337, whatever you have is gonna be good though. Uh, and then, let's see, what else do we need? Oh, a set of helping hands would be very, very helpful. I'm actually gonna do, uh, I don't have mine handy. I can't find them, I need to order some more. So I'm gonna use a combination of this clamp and a clothespin to hold the work in place. And then we need, some of these connectors. I'm gonna put links to everything that I'm using here uh, down below if you need to buy them or you can source them yourself. But this is the connector. They're pretty cheap. I think I paid a buck a piece for these and a quantity of five. So not too bad. And uh, yeah, AV cable. And you can use uh, an, a standard like RCA stereo cable should work fine too. Uh, this is just what I have on hand. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then finally, uh, I would recommend just writing this down. This is the pinout of the back side of this connector. And we'll look at this again in a minute. But this is what we're gonna use for this project. All right, first things first, we have our AV cable. We have our yellow, white, and red. The white is not gonna be used in this cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off and get it out of our way right now. Or you can leave it just make sure whoever uses this cable next. This cable is actually going to a friend, so I'll keep it nice and simple. And then we're going to cut the these two connectors off, leaving just that. And you want to get them uh, about the same length, of course. Okay, so now we're going to take our wire strippers and we're going to strip. I'm going to use this second one here. You don't want to go too small here. Too bad I'll use this one. Because you don't want to cut your... Uh, there, that's good. What I use, I use 16 gauge here and it looked like it worked pretty good. Because you don't want to cut your... Um, your ground wires up. So now we're left with this. Okay, we have the ground... The ground uh, ground wire and then the yellow and the red so now what you want to do is just kind of separate those ground wires away make sure you get all the little strands and do the same thing for the red just kind of pull them away And we can go 
and put a little twist there. Not much of one. I'm going to leave them a little loose because I'm going to twist them together here in a second. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's look at our diagram real quick. I'll give you all an idea of exactly what we're doing. So on the back of the connector, the red is going to go to red. The yellow is going to go to yellow. The two grounds right here and here, they're going to get connected together and then connected to this ground cable here. So that's what we're looking at. So now we need to finish stripping this cable back. Now, these wires here, we really don't want much stripped off. Let me show you why. So here is the cable, or connector I should say. Take this little part off here, and then this comes apart, this metal housing, and then inside of here is the connector itself okay and this see how it has that little notch up top and we have the five pins that matches up directly with this view here okay so if we look closer you can see something to point with you can see that these little zoom in a bit here. How good I'm getting. You can see that these little cups here are very short. We don't want a lot of excess wire beyond the connection, so we're going to keep our um, we're going to keep our wire strip pretty short here too. Now this cable is really cheap the conductors are real small my smallest setting here or my smallest holes on my strippers they don't work so uh i'm gonna actually use my teeth i don't recommend it <laughs> but i'm not going to show that on camera if you have a better pair of wire strippers hopefully you do okay so after uh stripping those wires back that's what we're left with have it zoomed in i know it's not going to be a great picture here but that's what we got so now I'm going to twist these ground wires together. Now here's a really, really important step that you may forget. A little trap for young players here. <laughs> uh, don't forget to put this over. Back out a little bit. You want to go ahead and slide this on here now if you didn't already. Okay. So there. Here we go. All right, so now I have my cable in my clamp thing. This is where you'd rather use your helping hands if you have them. And we are going to actually uh, tin the connection with some solder right now. Tin the, uh, tin the wires with solder, all three of them. So uh, I'm gonna heat my soldering iron up. So I'm gonna fire the soldering iron up and I've got mine set to just under 400. Probably somewhere around there will be fine. Uh, depends on what, you know, your soldering iron and uh, what kind of solder you use or just your personal preference, that's, that's fine. That's what I'm using and uh, make sure I got a good clean tip. tip looks okay and let's get started but uh, the idea is you want to get your uh, get the wire hot and then feed the solder into it and if you have to you can apply a little solder to the tip and then that'll kind of help conduct the uh, conduct things conduct the heat so let's go ahead and get this done and we're just gonna flow a little bit of solder onto the wire. This is called tinning the wire. Don't need much. There we go. That might be a little heavy. That's all right. And then finally, we'll do the ground wire right here. Let me clean this uh, soldering iron up. Of course, your ground wire is going to take a little more, a little more heat, a little more coaxing because it's bigger, a lot thicker. And we're just going to get a little solder in there. All 
Okay, that should do the trick. Okay guys, time to work on the back side of the connector and quick reminder here, the diagram. We've got red on the pin one, ground on the bottom pin, and yellow just to the right of the ground pin. And the notch is gonna be up top. And I did move over to this wood vise here and I have my connector oriented just like that diagram. So now we're just gonna flow a little solder into these cups on this connector to get it ready to work with. Uh, let me see, am I hot? I am hot, let's go. So we're gonna do This pin, I got some in that cup. That's pin one, and then we're gonna do the bottom pin. Okay, pin two. There we go. So now we have solder in the three cups we're gonna use. All right, because it's a big, thick pain in the butt, I'm gonna do the ground wire first. Get it out the way, and it can also provide a little stability for the other joints. Okay, hold it tight. Okay, unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture uh, soldering the red wire over on the left-hand side, but it's gonna be just like this yellow wire is about to be. I know, I know this view is not the best, but it's the best we got. It's really hard for me to even see. I'm going to heat up this joint. And then pocket. Hold it for a second and let go, and we should be good. Let me, let me take a look at it. Okay, so the connections all seem pretty solid now if you look at the ground and the yellow the video they're pretty close together but it's solid so one thing you can do if you like is put some hot snot in there or I could even there I mean I can separate a little bit but there is definitely separation there you can put like some uh, take a hot glue gun squirt it in there it'll give you a little bit of a uh, a little bit of separation but we have our red ground and yellow connected now let's put the cable back together okay now we're gonna put the little metal pieces back on first there's a notch down here that fits in here and then up top there's a couple of more notches uh, actually these two notches here this piece goes here And this part is up here. And when you have it in person, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And it kind of snaps together. And there, there's that piece of plastic there. And then you have two little pieces of plastic down there. And then your wire comes in here. Now, what you'll want to do right here. That's gonna be your strain relief there at the bottom. So whenever somebody pulls on the cable, it doesn't pull directly on the connection. So you'll wanna put a little crimp on it right there. And then eyeball, eyeball your connections in there. Make sure everything seems to be separate. And I think we're good. Then you just slide plastic piece over and there's a clip up top just slides into and there we go cable is made let's give her a test uh, one more step I'm gonna go ahead and clip this white wire off since it's not being used just so there's no confusion and we're gonna give her a test. Let's plug into the TV. That's AVN. 
and one audio channel because we don't have stereo. Alrighty, I'm gonna hook up power. Then we're gonna plug our DIN connector in. Okay, now it's a moment of truth, guys. Will my shoddy soldering work? Aha, we have success. We have, that is what I was talking about. That's the corrupt video memory, but we have a nice clean signal here. It looks good other than the uh, crappy uh, garbled character. So, and we also know we have sound, because listen. So it's a success. All right guys, so our cable worked. And uh, I apologize for my shoddy soldering skills and the camera work on the soldering man it's tough i gotta come up with something better than that but uh yeah i hope y'all learned a little something there uh, if nothing else you could take the pin out <laughs> and uh yeah i put links down below for the connectors i used and uh some other stuff like i put links for soldering irons and all that other good stuff you may need for this project so uh if you have any comments or anything like that leave them down below thanks for watching next up should be an atari 800 cable that's hopefully it's going to be very similar because it's got a five pin den connector also